At this point, it's very clear that Google's Nexus 6 and Samsung's Galaxy Note 4 are the two hottest Android phablets on the market. These two monster-sized smartphones are both great in many ways, but what makes them so different? Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dom, and today we are comparing the Nexus 6 to the Galaxy Note 4. These two Android smartphones are complete opposite in terms of features and design, but which one is right for you? Well, let's go ahead and find out. I won't get too in-depth with every feature in this comparison, but it's nice to know how these two stack up against each other. We'll be taking a brief look at features, specifications, design, and camera performance in this comparison, and hopefully give you a good idea of what each device has to offer. If you'd like to check out my full review on the Galaxy Note 4 or Nexus 6, I'll be sure to leave links in the description. First up, let's take a look at specifications. As you would expect, both of these smartphones are packed with high-end flagship specs. In fact, internally, they are exactly the same. Both the Nexus Nexus 6 and Galaxy Note 4 feature a quad-core Snapdragon 805 processor clocked at 2.7 GHz, an Adreno 420 GPU, 3 GB of RAM, and a 3220 mAh battery. That's right, identical internals. The only technical difference between the two is going to be the display size. Samsung's Galaxy Note 4 features a 5.7-inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 coming in at 515 pixels per inch, while Google's Nexus 6 has a 5.9-inch 6 inch AMOLED display of the same resolution, which equals out to 493 pixels per inch. While these specifications may be similar, the design and hardware between these two devices will provide a very different experience. Samsung is known for its fake leather textures and chromed out plastic trim, but this year the Galaxy lineup ended on a different note. The Note 4's design is one of the best built smartphones I've ever seen from Samsung. Its sleek metal frame feels great in the hand, and while we still have the fake leather backside, Samsung has ditched the artificial stitching that was found on the Note 3. With the Nexus 6, its design was inspired by this year's Moto X, and all around it feels like a solid device. Google's Nexus 6 also features a metal frame, but has a hard plastic finish on the back. I mentioned this in my full review, but even though this is technically a recycled design, it still feels like a very fresh device. As far as layout goes on the Nexus 6, you'll find a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top, while the bottom makes room for the micro USB charging port and a small microphone. The front side features a 2 megapixel camera, the appropriate sensors, and dual front facing stereo speakers. On the back we have a 13 megapixel shooter with optical image stabilization that's capable of capturing up to UHD video quality and a dual LED flash in a ring diffuser setup. Finally on the right side we have its volume rocker and a textured lock button. Moving over to the Galaxy Note 4, on the front side we have the appropriate sensors, a 3.7 megapixel front facing camera, updated capacitive navigation buttons, and and a home button with a built-in fingerprint scanner. On the left side of the Note 4, you'll find its color-matched volume rocker, while the right side is home to its power button. On the top, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack, IR blaster, and a small microphone. At the bottom, we have a pair of microphones, micro USB charging port, and the S Pen. Finally, on the back side, you'll find a 16 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, LED flash, heart rate sensor, and a small speaker. Both of these devices feature quick charging capabilities with their included charging bricks. This will allow you to charge up either device faster than a traditional wall adapter and get more out of your battery throughout the day. It's a very helpful feature and I'd love to see more manufacturers take advantage of this technology in the future. It's a little tricky to judge a software comparison between these two devices, so instead I'll just lay out the facts. Google's Nexus 6 is running Android 5.0 Lollipop and is considered a pure or stock version of the mobile operating system. This is going to be very plain Jane in terms of software features and functionality, but on average, it will be a better performer than any Android device running a third-party skin. There are quite a few features that make Lollipop an enjoyable experience for all smartphones, but if you'd like to know my favorites, I recommend checking out the Nexus 6 review linked below. At the time of this video, the Galaxy Note 4 is running Android 4.4.4 KitKat with Samsung's TouchWiz skin on top. As you can see, the user interface design between the Note 4 and the Nexus 6 is going to be drastically different. Along with that, Samsung tends to pack in 
as many features as possible into TouchWiz to provide something for everyone. Unfortunately, TouchWiz has a nasty reputation of impacting a device's overall performance. The internal specifications are the same as the Nexus 6, but don't count on it always performing like a Nexus 6. I'm not saying the Note 4 is slow by any means, but I'm sure a few people have an opinion or two about TouchWiz. With the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, you're getting a very specific set of features. These features won't be for everyone, but Samsung's S Pen will provide an experience like no other smartphone, but only if you're going to take advantage of what it has to offer. I've detailed all of the S Pen features in my Galaxy Note 4 versus Galaxy Note 3 video, and if you'd like to find out more, I'll leave that link below. The main advantage to having a Galaxy Note is going to be the S Pen. As I mentioned, Samsung also provides a few specialized features like the heart rate sensor and fingerprint sensor, but also comes along with useful multi-window capabilities to run multiple apps at once and specific features to allow for better one-handed use. If you're looking for Samsung-like software features, you won't find them on the Nexus 6. Google likes to keep things plain and simple while adding the perfect mix of personalization. The only bells and whistles on the Nexus 6 are going to be the new features that Lollipop brings along, but its smooth experience may be enough to win some people over. Lollipop is going to be the strongest Android experience you can get, but at this time, the Nexus 6 is the only device shipping with it. When Samsung updates the Note 4 with Lollipop, it'll more than likely be just as skinned with its current feature set. Let's move on to camera performance. With the Note 4's camera, we have a 16 megapixel shooter packed with optical image stabilization and UHD video recording. On paper, the Note 4 wins over the 13 megapixel OIS camera found on the Nexus 6, but both seem to take very acceptable photos. I'll let you be the judge of the photos being compared. Let me know which are your favorite down in the comment section, but I think it's a close call either way. Like most other areas, the Note 4 is going to provide more features within its camera app. There's a ton of stuff in there and it almost feels too cluttered, but I suppose Samsung would rather include everything instead of missing one thing. Both devices are capable of UHD video recording, but I found the Note 4 to be superior in this area. You can find video samples from the Nexus 6 in my full review, and I'll leave a link to my Note 4 camera test below as well. So which one should you buy? If you're deciding between the Galaxy Note 4 and the Nexus 6, it's mainly going to come down to features versus performance. If you don't care for the S Pen or the Note 4's other specialized features, it's probably best to go with a solid device like the Nexus 6. Google's Nexus lineup will always receive the latest software updates first, but stock Android may be a bit boring to some people. In exchange for the lack of software features on the Nexus 6, you're getting raw and uncut performance. There's no clear winner here, but as you would assume, the best device for you is going to depend on your needs. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison video between Google's Nexus 6 and Samsung's Galaxy Note 4. Hopefully I've provided enough detail to help you make an informed decision. It's obvious that these two devices are designed for completely different situations, but which one is right for you? Let me know what you think with a comment below and be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe for more comparison videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and have a great day.